Far Cry 3 is a wondrous and colorful open world playground that inspires the best kind of obsessive dedication. Your map of the two huge islands you explore is dotted with various icons, each one inviting you to shoot bad guys, hunt wild animals, and climb to the top of rickety radio towers. This fantastic sandbox is a treat to play in, marred mainly by some frustrating design quirks and an inconsistent story. But even that story can be a treat, though it takes a long time for its themes to start coming together in a coherent way. In a way, the incoherence makes sense. As protagonist Jason Brody, your initial quest to rescue your friends from a chaotic and truly frightful pirate named Voss Bye -bye. turns into a much more personal journey. Those friends are too shallow to care much about, and the game values generic tribal cliches, which keeps the story at arm's length for a good half of the game. You are but his friend's shallowness ultimately allows Jason to take a guilt-free look inwards as he grows further entrenched in a local tribe that takes him under its wing. My older brother has been killed. I need to find my younger brother and four other friends. Come with me. You might see the narrative curveballs coming after a while, but the trippy manner in which certain events unfold effectively blurs the lines between reality and Jason's occasionally drug-addled imagination. What are you afraid of? You're a natural Nevertheless, certain events don't make a lot of sense. The game quickly glosses over an event that would make most of us emotional wrecks. So when Jason says afterwards that dealing with the issue was harder than he thought it would be, his words ring hollow. But Far Cry 3 isn't so much about story as it is about world and the ways you exploit it for your own personal enjoyment. Story missions have you navigating caves and holding off enemies in a linear fashion, but out in the wild, you have an entire paradise to tame. You shoot up pirate encampments so you can liberate them and turn them into safe zones where you can load up on ammo. These safe houses also function as quick travel points, and their existence helps cut down on unnecessary and tedious travel time. You can also take on side missions that have you taking photographs, speeding medicinal supplies to needy settlements, hunting rare wild animals with bow and arrow, and climbing towers to unlock portions of the map. That latter mechanic is a treat and makes the best use of first-person platforming seen in a shooter in quite some time. Mix in all sorts of role-playing elements and you have a fully featured single-player game that lasts upwards of 35 hours or more, depending on how much you want to do. In addition, an in-game economy has you looting chests and corpses so that you can buy new weapons and replenish ammo. You collect plants to create syringes that heal you, enhance your animal tracking skills, and so forth. You hunt and skin animals and use their hides to craft new wallets, rucksacks, and other items, which in turn allows you to carry more money, more weapons, and more vendor trash. A game doesn't have to be great just because it gives you a lot to do, but Far Cry 3 does most of what it does extremely well. There's a wide variety of guns to shoot, and they all feel properly hefty and powerful. There are plenty of opportunities to use stealth, and knifing a pirate from behind always feels great. And as you level up and purchase new skills, you can string attacks together in satisfying ways, such as sneakily taking down one henchman and then throwing his knife into another's back in one smooth motion. A few quirks can get you frustrated, though. Certain missions feature respawning enemies, which can put a damper on things, especially when you see a small crowd of pirates spawn in plain sight. Dying and respawning at a checkpoint with all the enemies you shot alive, but all the ammo you used to shoot them depleted, is frustrating, as is the game's occasional failure to sense that you're holding down the button that heals you. And on the PC, should the online DRM servers go down while you're playing the campaign, the game could potentially lock up. But these are blights in a game that does so much, and does it so well. Small touches, like the way animals attack each other, and the letters you find on the bodies of dead travelers, make these islands come alive. There's an ecology at work and a sense of history that makes this world both dangerous and compelling.
So what zit on Earth's ass did we land on? Can't you tell? The girls working the ship say it's pirate territory. Just tribal shit and blood from here on out. Even more amazingly, Far Cry 3 rounds out an already sizable and quality campaign with a series of cooperative missions that have up to four players, shooting enemies, and completing mission objectives. With only two players, certain encounters can get frustrating, and gunning down bullet-absorbing heavies can be a real slog. But when the action comes together, the impactful gunplay shines, even if the more structured levels might have you missing the freedom of the open island. Competitive multiplayer doesn't feature any surprises, but both the competitive and the cooperative multiplayer feature character progression that can keep you invested, if only to unlock one more skill or one more weapon to bring to the fight. Throw in a relatively easy to use map editor and you have one of the most fully featured and expansive shooters you can buy. Not to mention, Far Cry 3 is beautiful, though PC owners will need a beefy rig to see the game at its best. So to recap, a big sandbox with great gunplay, tons of activities to keep you busy, creepy villains, well-developed role-playing elements. Oh, and you can set free bears from their cages and watch them attack bad guys, all while you set their marijuana fields on fire. Good times, good times. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity?